But we start with Liverpool. Some interesting quotes from Mohamed Salah. He's reaffirmed his desire to remain at Liverpool, but insists his future rests in the club's hands. This is what he said in an interview with GQ magazine. I want to stay, but it's not in my hands. It's in their hands. They know what I want. I'm not asking for crazy stuff. The thing is, when you ask for something and they show you they can give you something because they appreciate what you did for the club, I've been here for my fifth year now. I know the club very well. I love the fans. The fans love me. But with the administration, they have been told the situation. It is in their hands. OK, we've got our guest today on Transfer Talk. We really want to get into this. And straight away, Nabade, what have you made of that? I think it's a big positive. Like, like you said at the start there, I think Liverpool fans want Salad to stay. Uh, he's the main man. And he, I think he's gone up a level from last season where maybe Liverpool are maybe at a point where they were thinking we might be able to get a, a big load of cash and do basically the same cycle they've been doing on repeat. But then he's gone up a level this season. In my opinion, he's the best footballer in the world at the moment on current form. Um, I think the slight downside to that might be that maybe Liverpool are holding off and saying... Let's see if someone comes in for you because we don't know if Barca or Madrid or whoever it is has the money. And if nobody comes in for you, then you're kind of stuck with us and maybe we can pay you a little bit less. Personally, I'd be putting whatever it takes on the table. Um, you can have my laptop, my iPad. He's got to be staying at Liverpool. We need him in the Premier League. I mean, you're looking at this situation. It has been rumbling on for some time. I definitely do believe it is a positive because Mo Salah has said he wants to stay at Liverpool. It's only a positive, though, if the deal is done. There'll be plenty of Liverpool fans across the world who are very vocal on socials, as we know. They will be expressing their opinions if they don't manage to get this deal done. Or they'll start to maybe question, well, why isn't this being done? If the fans want it, more importantly, the player wants it, why aren't the club making their stance known about what actually will be happening with this situation? Now, look at what Mo Salah has done. 229 games, 148 goals, 56 assists as well. He's proven himself on the pitch time and time again. He's, he's provided memories for Liverpool fans uh, as well and helped them get that Premier League trophy. He's brought silverware, he's brought goals. What more can he do? Why aren't the owners, why aren't FSG, why aren't they actually cementing his future and reassuring the fans, the player, everyone connected to the club that Mo Salah will remain a Liverpool player? Why? Why? It's pretty simple. Why? Liverpool don't want to get Aubameyanged. It's that simple. They don't want to pay someone that is approaching 30, a big contract in cases, form dips or anything sort of off the field happens or, or injury hits or anything like that. And they're, late, and they're hit with a you know, four-year contract on a huge, huge wage that they then can't get out of later. And I, I'm not saying that's going to happen with Mo Salah. As Nibir was just saying, like, he is one of, if not the best footballer in the world right now. So the, 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 the risk seems minimal. But... We're talking about a COVID economy. We're talking about a situation where other clubs, if they wanted to come in for him, can't because they just can't afford to anymore. So that's why Liverpool are going to be a little bit more careful with this. That's what and look, he wants to stay. The club want him. I'm pretty sure this will happen eventually. Well, Liverpool fans, we do want to hear from you. Get in touch. Hashtag transfer talk. We need to talk to a Liverpool fan right now. So we're going to uh, Harriet Pryor is from the Anfield Wrap and she joins us now. Harriet, thanks very much for coming on. Those quotes that you'll have just heard me read out, you might have seen them already. How do they, how do they make the Liverpool fans feel? Look, I think this saga's been going on for quite a while now, hasn't it? And actually, these quotes aren't necessarily anything new that Salah's coming out and saying. I think there's been rumblings in the past and past little interviews and snippets that he said suggest that he does absolutely want to stay at Liverpool. And there's plenty of reasons for that. He references how much the fans love him. He lo references how much he loves the fans. We know he understands the culture of the club. He, I know he understands the identity of it. Mo Salah wants to remain a Liverpool player. And I think him coming out and making that clear just show that his intentions are true. And I think for him... It's, it's almost less about the money at this point than it is the recognition. And he wants the appreciation and he wants to know that actually he deserves and he deserves what he's asking for. So I, I think for us, it feels it, it feels quite positive, to be honest. That he's, he's coming out yet again and saying, look, this is where I see my future. I want to stay here. Now let's get this done.